Hello, what's up everybody? This is Papa Bell and welcome to the channel. <clears throat> yeah. Alright. So I'm redoing my drive circuit with these. They're uh six filer coils, but uh it's got four strands of twenty-four gauge at uh five hundred and fifty turns. And then uh 30 gauge two strands at 550 so I'll have that little uh, well there's options of what we can do with that because I got more transistors and uh, I got tons of light bulbs to light up so we can figure it out though and so this coil right here um, this is the setup that I'm using to make that coil. So you have four 24 gauge rolls here, and then you've got two 30 rolls. And I'm hoping to get three more coils out of this of the same size and shape so that I can replace the hodgepodge over in this drive circuit. I got one coil done that I consider legit right now. This is um, various gauges. It's like an amp funnel coil. I'm not even sure if that works now. I'm really not. <laughs> All I know is it, is it worked. I just don't know if it does what I thought it did. Um, yeah, and then yeah, these these two will be replaced by that style that exact replica we're going to try and do and then the, the other drive will be the same with an iron core soft iron pure iron i'm thinking that that core is going to work better than the ones that i was using with the iron filings And it's just an on-off since it's a nine magnet rotor. It's going to always be on basically one on the other side will always be on um, I don't know I guess But that's not what I'm doing. I'm it kind of looks like an Adams Motor starting to look like an Adams motor maybe but it's not It's not we might get some you know good readings off of this thing but it's not that design it uh but it might i could try it actually is what i'm trying to say 800 percent output is really good but i don't know how you measure that necessarily is it the volts the amps it's power out right The efficiency, I mean, is, uh, if it's a generator, it's going to be power out. Uh, if it's just a motor, it's going to be RPMs. But, of course, you can always retrofit any motor of this type to be a generator. That's cool. I mean, you learn some interesting things when you search online uh, and that's one of the things that I learned so uh, I think I, I think it's cool all right but I, yeah man I can't wait to get this next uh, batch done and then hopefully I, I will have scratched an itch uh, that I've been wanting to scratch and has to have a uniform design I mean every single design that I do has got some random coil in there that was from a different design I just want to build like even maybe draw a picture first and then build it <laughs> just just to do that you know give it a shot um, I think it's gonna be really neat really cool and look look at the air gap on this thing man it's freaking amazing that we get this much power off of 
with it being that far away. It's, it's amazing. And you got to kind of have it that far away with how loosey-goosey all my stuff is. Oops, sorry about the finger, folks. Now what we could do is we could uh, dedicate this core to that coil and if everything works out with me making the next round of coils I will do that. I will dedicate a core to each of the new coils and then I'll glue it in and we can move it in closer because <laughs> I would say the distance has actually uh, reduced performance but I'm not a good judge of that actually that's awesome But if we remove that core completely and I move it in, I'm going to do that actually. I'm going to save the core. It's not going to be very far away, but and I'll put it back in eventually. But I'm going to get the I'm going to get the coil real close. And then we're going to start it up one more time. All right, I'll be right back. Stay tuned. All right, we're back and we got it in real close. And we're going to give it a spin. Heck yeah. This is 25 volts in. Again, we're working with all series circuits. It needs a little bit more voltage. Um, but I can say that the max output of, of amps from this power supply is 8. So it won't go above 8 amps. I think that's awesome if I can get the core in there and have it be solidified I mean it'll be really rocky and I don't know if that would work actually all right so there it is ladies and gentlemen works pretty good uh, it will carry two loads currently Two loads. And they are bright. They are very bright. Yeah, and you can just keep on turning up the voltage to outrun uh, the the load that has been put on the rotor you can you can keep going and I think you can go for extended periods of time too as long as you keep turning up the power because <laughs> uh, I've tried the this incandescent light bulb 
this bad boy right here. Three way, 200, 120 volts. Uh, it has the wattage there, but it's kind of messy. Say 150? Wow, that's a lot of watts. Alright, well, I don't know, maybe one day we'll give this one another go, but I don't think we're going to have enough, uh, what do you say, heat <laughs> to light up the light bulb. The, the, the filament, I think, needs a more stable something I maybe there's just not enough voltage to light it or or amperage I think is what I'm really missing but anyway you saw it two loads and it did do a downshift in frequency but I'm pretty sure it would have would <laughs> picked up it was on 32 volts Um, just for one quick test, we're going to start it with the loads on and see if we can just overcome it from the start. There, there goes one. Oh, the lights are trying so hard to shut it down, but I think we got it. Awesome. I'm liking how that strobe light's kicking, that flicker. Alright, well there you have it. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Peace out. Have a good night. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And drop a comment, please. Thank you very much. Bye now.